Well guys, we have a problem. The geese have been desperately trying to find a place to lay eggs. So Kevin and I were thinking, you know what? We should build an area just for them. But where to build it? It took us a while to decide on the perfect place, but then we found it. And of course, in true Kevin fashion, he got to work on it right away. Boy, have we got a fun project for you guys today. We've got every animal we own locked up in this little pen <laughs> so that we can get it done. We've got Luna and Stella and Willow and Fern and Apollo and Astrid and Winnie and where's Tatum? There she is, she's at the bottom of the slide head bunning any babies that come down. <laughs> We've also got Hermione back there. So everybody's in here for now so that we can work on our fun new project. Kevin, look, they're back over there. Oh my God. Trying to make a nest. Just wait. Just wait, we're almost done. So we've been noticing that Carlisle and Esme have started to look for a place to lay eggs. So we think that they're gonna, that Esme is gonna start laying eggs soon and they're looking for a spot. Yesterday they were in the canal, the day before they were over by the buck pen. See, they already started a little nest over here, but we're thinking we can give them an even better spot. So this is Kevin's idea for having Salem close by without her running amok and being crazy. <laughs> She sticks her little head out, but at least she can hang out in here and she's dumped her water over again. So the plan is we're gonna come off of this goat pen area and build sort of a run that goes down here and up to here. We're gonna put a little goat house right here underneath this tree. It'll get a lot greener in the spring, summer. A goat house, you want more goats? Did I say goat house? Yeah. Oh gosh, yes, I do want more goats. A goose house, a geese house, and we'll have a little area for them to hatch out their babies here And then we'll just use this pen for when we're doing things like that Like let's say Kiwi's hatching out some babies we can keep her in here for a little bit And so yeah, this is not gonna be a permanent situation. It's just gonna be a little housing area for Different projects birds meat birds, whatever we're doing. So we're excited. I think it's gonna be amazing. The first thing we had to figure out is should we make permanent posts? And the answer to that is uh, yes. <laughs> I would just put the poles in the ground, but concrete does make them a lot stronger. Yeah, and the goats rubbing on the outside of it. Yeah. I just didn't want it to be taken down. And we'll use this for lots of different things, right? Yeah. I came to say hi. I came to take a break. Hi. Oh, does that feel good? Does that feel good? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tilly. That's the best part about doing projects. You can come out here and hold baby goats. Bring in Salem around to meet the animals. Tilly's not gonna like you. Once she realizes, she is not gonna be happy. Oh, there she sees her. Oh, you not like that, Tilly? Uh oh, better, better go away. Okay. I'm up here sitting on the mountain trying to uh, pet the babies over here, and Tatum just knocked everybody off. <laughs> and, um,. I know, she thinks she's still a baby. Now, people say that Tatum looks exactly like her mom, Tilly, but actually, you guys, only her front half is Tilly. Her back half is her dad, Moonrider. So, she's only half of a Tilly, aren't you? After Kevin finished the posts and the fencing, he found some gate on the side of the road or something and... It's way better. No, I got it on Craigslist with a whole bunch of nice. fencing stuff. Well, it worked. It fit perfectly. Yeah. So that's awesome. But at least we had it situated for right now. Yeah, I got it done just in time for the first irrigation of the year. 
While the irrigation is starting, we're gonna take a minute to talk about our sponsor for this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of videos for people that are curious about new skills. There are videos on creative writing, filmmaking, crafts, cooking, art, drawing, all of that. And it's completely ad-free. Salem, come. <laughs> Good girl. Hey, are you excited about the irrigation? We'll get to see if she likes water. Ah. They say giant schnauzers, or schnauzers in general, love water. So we'll see if she likes it. If so, she might be swimming in the pond with us. Ooh, that'll be fun. Part of my life is farming and gardening and taking care of all the animals. And then the other part is filmmaking. So let me show you one of the classes I took that I hopefully will keep improving our videos. I always wanna to try to tell the best story possible, so it's really nice to listen to a YouTuber like Dan Mace give advice on all the little details to include that are enjoyable to watch. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first thousand of our subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Oh. <laughs> well, the camera audio cut out at this point, but it was so hilarious because Salem obviously loves the water. She loves it so much. So I think it's safe to say that she's definitely gonna swim in the pond with us. Are you sure you wanna get in a pond with a big, wet, <laughs> slobbery dog? Yes, I do. Oh, Salem. <laughs> The baby's first time seeing the irrigation. What is that? That is a lot of water, huh? You can't run around the whole yard today. So Kevin finished the fence just in time and he gave him a little stand, but they've been swimming in it all day. I think it's time to let him out and let him have the whole yard to swim in today. Oh, he put food over there. That's why they're eating up there. Okay. Okay, geese, you are free to swim. They're like, I'm good. They like this. You gotta go scare them out. Yeah, we gotta get them to come out so they can be out here. It is the coldest water in the whole world. Is it? Esme's braver. <laughs> All right, have a fun day today. Let's let him out. Be careful of that water. There's lots of water today, Tilly. Oh, hello. hello! Did you do a little hop? Hi. Where's your brother? <laughs> he's smart. I feel like he's just like Tilly. He's hello. Smart. Did you just wake up? They're already getting on the mountain. Gosh. <laughs> All right, so the poll results are the first buckling is going to be, of course, Toby. Mm. Love Toby so much. And then this one was a really close one between Tucker and Bentley, but I think Bentley won. So Ooh, that's good. So we've got Toby and Bentley. All right. Even though we're not planning on keeping these two bucklings, we still like to give them names because at least it gives us something to call them while they're here on the farm. We normally let our baby goats go at about eight weeks old, so during that time, we just wanna have a cute name attached to them. Sometimes the owners keep the name, sometimes they change them, but it's still fun to do. Also, those of you that entered the contest on Tilly's Babies and Nebula's Babies from Hoppy Goat Farm, we're gonna announce the winner on our Instagram soon. So follow along and hopefully you were one of the ones that chose the right dates for them to deliver. I don't know why, but Chloe's wanting to try to make friends with the goats. Come on, Chloe. <laughs> Tilly's like, no. Oh, don't pot them, Chloe. 
I know. <laughs> That's kind of weird. We'll be That's... friends with them, okay? Oh wow, the geese go all the way back to that spot again. I think, <laughs> I think they want to lay back there. Dang it! Well, they've had a nice, good two days of of lake to play in. So I think they're about tired. Since we get irrigation every two weeks, they get their fill for a couple of days and then they're kind of sick of it and they want to get back to grass for a while because they love eating grass. So it's kind of a perfect situation for geese. They, every two weeks they get a couple of days of fun and then, and then they get some grass. Well, the irrigation is down and now we're ready to get started on the goose house. This is going to be a fun one. Sorry, Winnie, we got to take your spool, okay? Okay, guys, I have to admit, this is one of Kevin's most brilliant crafty crafties. Yes, using an old piece of trash. So we have this spool that is just totally rotted on one side. So we cut off most of the rotten end because we're going to make the top on that side. It would be really hard to cut it in a perfect circle and then the roof would be really hard to do in a perfect circle too. So we did more of an octagon type thing. And now for the door, which was almost impossible to draw freehand. <laughs> but we figured it out. The goats were a big help all along. Hi Luna, did you come to check it out? It's not for you though. This isn't for you Tatum. That's it's for not the goslings. <laughs> so I don't really know what this type of roof is called, but like a cone roof or a... Or a spire, a castle spire, I don't know. But I wanted that roof. So Kevin made a frame for me on the top and so we could kind of attach shingles to it. Mm -hmm. I just thought it would look so much better than having a flat roof on the top. Yeah. And now comes the fun part. So I wanted sort of like a pastel light green. It was okay to me if it gets all old and weathered. Like I want it to look vintage, so it's totally fine. And of course, Kevin cares a lot about the colors, mm -hmm. the hues of, yes. yes. Okay, so we finally get to do the best part, the roof. This is the part I'm most excited about. It's nice and hot and sunny out here, so perfect for some goose roof building. So this roof took us an entire day. <laughs> and you were right when you were like, this is going to be really hard. I'm not sure how this is going to look. Yeah, it is really oh. hard. And you're trying to do so many different parts of the pitch. It was just such a weird angle on each side. But we persevered, guys. Kevin only cried a couple times. Yeah. About halfway through, we realized the only way we were going to salvage this roof is if we did uh, the, what are they called? Caps. Yeah, the caps on uh, each. On the ridge. And I think that's what saved it. Yep. So if you come to our house, but don't come to our house, <laughs> but if you come to our house and you see it, don't lift it up because it's not, it's not going to look good underneath. You like our goose house? It took us forever. <laughs> Awesome. It looks good. I like it. Oh my gosh. Oh, so much more work than we thought it would be. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now we just got to fit it into the goose pen. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. We're so lucky, guys, because it barely fits. <laughs> oh, barely. <laughs> By an inch. But it looks so good. All right, guys, it fit barely in here, but we just realized there's a hole <laughs> and that's exactly where the eggs are gonna fall so we gotta cover that up yeah. there's this hole too but i don't know if it'll we'll fix it perfect there you go there you go! They like it! <laughs> they like it already! Do you like it, Ethan? Yeah! <laughs> Randomly has a knife. <laughs> the last thing we need to do is build a little ramp up to it. Yeah. It's too but, hard to step up there without a ramp. They're not lazy enough to need a ramp. Yeah, they need a ramp. It'll be so cute. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, what do you know? <laughs> the next morning we came out here and believe it or not, Esme laid an egg. I can't believe that. Oh, she must have been waiting for the perfect house. Right in the middle. Oh my gosh, it's huge. I found a broken one in the ditch the other day, so she started laying a couple of days ago. Oh, okay. That's why she was hanging out in the ditch. So I guess she already laid one, but we built it still just in time. Right. Lay a bunch more and have goslings. So I feel like we just need one more thing for this house. As you guys know, we have to make it cute, so I commissioned my sister to paint a little sign for it. This will officially be known as the hatching house. And the kitty platform. Yes. Better run, kitty cat. <laughs> Better run! <laughs> He's like, yeah! <laughs> Get away from our hatching house. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you wanna watch the video when we first got the geese and then Esme flew away and then we got her back and all was well, click right here.